Hi there, this is Anub from HTMD community. Today we are going to talk about August Patch Tuesday updates. So we are going to review all the things about August 2023 Patch Tuesday in this video. We'll look into zero day vulnerabilities. We'll talk about Windows 11 patches released on August Patch Tuesday. That is 8th August 2023. And then we will talk about Windows 10 patches. What are the fixes available with Windows 11, Windows 10 patches released on August 8th Patch Tuesday. We'll also discuss about non-issues with August patches. We'll also discuss about automation of patching. How you can automate end-to-end -end patching process for your organization. So don't skip the video. Let's go ahead and check this out. Also don't forget to subscribe the channel if you are coming here for the first time. So let's quickly check August 2023 Patch Tuesday updates. This is a quick review of August 2023 Patch Tuesday. We will cover all these things, zero day vulnerabilities, Windows 10 11 patches released on August 2023 patch Tuesday, fixes, non-issues, improvements with August 2023 patch Tuesday. We will talk about build versions of Windows 10 and Windows 11 after installing August 2023 patches. We will also talk about Intune and SSEM way of deploying the patches to thousands of devices without any hassle. We'll discuss about manual download options for these patches and then we will quickly discuss about end-to-end -end automation of patching service that Microsoft provides. Let's check zero-day vulnerabilities released as part of August 8th patch Tuesday. As per the report from Microsoft, Security Response Center MSRC there's one zero day vulnerability which is publicly not disclosed CVE number is 2023-38180 this 38180 that is related to .NET and Visual Studio denial of service vulnerability and this is tagged to ASP.NET Max severity is important and exploited yes and the other one which is advisory for the last month's vulnerability 36884 this was related to outlook vulnerability i will link all these details into the description of the video do check that out there are a lot of other vulnerabilities disclosed by microsoft but there is only one zero day vulnerability as you can see over here elevation of privilege vulnerabilities are there and then Microsoft Exchange Server vulnerabilities are there. So if I go through this particular list, you would be able to see different types of vulnerabilities. This is published on August 8th. Microsoft Office vulnerabilities are there. Exchange Server vulnerabilities are there. And then there are some LDAP vulnerabilities as well. Also Bluetooth vulnerabilities are there. Dynamic 365, Microsoft Message vulnerabilities are there. So let's quickly look at Windows 11 August patch improvements or new features. To be honest with you, I don't see any significant improvements or new features coming into Windows 11 with August patches. It is mainly bug fixes rather than new features or improvements but these are some of the things I could extract from Microsoft documentation for your easy understanding handwriting software input panel and handwriting engine improvements are there and then there are some font improvements enhancements and there are some COSA profile improvements and there are some brightness settings improvements also available with August patches for Windows 11. You can check out more details about this in the description of the video. There's a link available for that. Now let's check Windows 11 bug fixes with August 2023 patches. There are a lot of bug fixes with Windows 11 August patches, but I have not covered everything in this list. 
you would be able to get the full list from the description of the video if you check out the description of the video below let's go through some of the bug fixes one of them is bitlocker related bug fix there are two bitlocker issues got fixed with this august patches and then there was a hybrid azure ad join related issue when you are using windows hello for business or biometric credentials this was also fixed with august patches and this is important one this is related to windows autopilot so windows autopilot policy download issue got fixed now it will provide more stable experience because microsoft increased the retry attempts when you try to download the windows autopilot profile so if you have any network connectivity issue initially when a device connects to wi-fi or something the more retry attempts help to get windows autopilot policy download and there are some wmi related issues got fixed and the defender firewall profile related issues also got fixed when there is a network connection change and defender application control related issues are also got fixed with august patches smb related performance issue got fixed with august patches even there are some notification related improvements and fixes available in windows 11 after august patches so you can see over here platform related issues got fixed and windows push notification service client server reliability issues got fixed with august patch tuesday even forwarding related even forwarding quality related issues got fixed and even windows 11 had some l2 cache related issue that got fixed as you can see in every patch tuesday there would be some printing related fixes and august patches also got some printing related fixes available and then windows 11 widgets related fixes are available there was an audio video issue when system resumes from sleep that issue also got fixed there is a fix for vpn connectivity issue as well as you can see over here now let's look into known issues which are not fixed with august patches some application might fail to playback record or capture video so this is after july preview update released on 25th of july i think so there's a gpo option available to roll back this particular patch or settings there's another option related to outlook when opening the links in the email there's a workaround already provided by microsoft for this but i don't think there's a fix in this august patch for these two issues please let me know if you see any other issues with august patch tuesday updates for windows 11 and windows 10 in the comment section now let's look into windows 10 fixes there's no improvements at all for windows 10 so let's look into the fixes and i think windows 10 fixes are subset of windows 11 fixes and even known issues as you can see over here this is same as windows 11 there's no additional issue that got fixed only for windows 10 all these issues are discussed in windows 11 bug fixes now let's look into ssem way of deploying august 2023 patches if you are interested to know end-to-end -end details about ssem patching how to do patching what are the processes you need to follow for patching click on the i button in youtube to get to that video so there are different ways to install patches deploy patches using ssem you can use automatic deployment rule set for that that is the best way or recommended way otherwise you want to learn or you want to search for one particular update you can search with 23-08 cumulative update for windows 10 or windows 11 keyword over here in the search box you can use this keyword 23-08 cumulative update for windows 11 and then other one for windows 10 so that will help you to get the patches for windows 10 and windows 11 released as part of august 2023 patches then you can go through the process in the video to create patch package and deploy it to all the devices managed by ssem now let's go to the cloud way of deploying patches so intune uses windows update for business and if you don't know what is intune and what is the patching mechanism of intune click on the i button to get more details about that if you want to quickly deploy august patches to 
Intune managed Windows devices, you can use this method and you can use expedite installation of quality updates if device OS version is less than this particular version. And let's also check the number of days to wait before restart is forced. One day I have selected, but if you want to expedite it more aggressively, then you can use zero day. This is applicable for zero day patches, which are very critical, etc. Now let's look into the manual method to download the patches. Go to catalog.update.microsoft.com and search with the keyword 2023-08 for August patches and you can download Windows 10, Windows 11 patches from here and use it for offline installation or updates. Now this is very important. End-to-end -end automation of monthly patching for your organization. You don't need to do anything. Microsoft will handle end-to-end -end patching scenarios for you if you choose to go with Windows Auto Patch service from Microsoft. If you want to know more about about this auto patch windows auto patch service how to do it how to configure it click on i button over here to get more details on this process but on a high level this is the process you need to as an intune admin or as an auto patch admin you need to select the devices which you want to onboard into auto patch service then microsoft will automatically select the best suited update ring for those devices and distribute the update ring among the devices and it will ensure that all the devices are patched as per your requirement. Now that we have covered all the things that you want to know about August 2023 Patch Tuesday. Hope you like hope you like the video. Hope this was useful. Thank you all for watching. See you around.